Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Lindsay and I bring you content on clean beauty and skincare. Today's video, I'm going to talk about one of my all-time favorite brands, Josh Rosebrook. I'm going to talk a little bit about my favorite skincare picks from him as well as hair care, so let me get into it. So first off, sorry if you hear any AC noise in the background. It's just way too hot for me to turn it off. I filmed a video last night with it off and my ass got so sweaty, so I'm not doing that again. <laughs> and that video ended up getting deleted anyway, so sweaty ass for nothing. So let me get into my favorite skincare picks from Josh Rosebrook first. My top pick, probably my favorite product that he makes, even though it's super hard to choose, is his Hydrating Accelerator. This is a moisturizing facial mist. I'll read you what the description says on the website. It says that it's a multi-action product that is a combination hydrator toner and a light moisturizer all in one. Organic vitamin infused aloe water and fatty acids lower skin surface tension to penetrate the stratum Calrium and, <laughs> and enhanced delivery of hydration, antioxidants, and nutrients into the skin. So a great thing about Josh Rose's book, if you don't know anything about the line already, is that he takes a very scientific approach to it. So these are very holistic, clean products, but they definitely deliver results. This is one of the first skincare lines that I tried in the clean beauty space, and I was so amazed with it, and they've stuck with me for as long as I've been using them. I've repurchased this bottle so many times, I lost track. They also sell a mini version, I believe. Yeah, they have a two ounce version, which is $22. The full size of this is $32, which in my opinion is totally worth it because it's unlike any toner I've ever tried. You can see the ingredient list right on the back there. So it has a ton of herbal ingredients in here. This smells totally heavenly. Like I wanna spray it on my face right now, but I don't wanna waste it. But this smells so good, it's really hard to describe, it's honestly just like unlike anything I've ever smelled. It's totally amazing. If you were to try one thing and you want to dip your toes into the Josh Rosebrook skincare world, I would definitely try this one out if you haven't already. Such a good product, I can't even explain how good it is. Like it said, it also works as a light moisturizer and I also like to use this as a makeup setting mist. It gives you the most gorgeous glow on top of your makeup. So next, let me get into the creams and then I'll move on to my favorite mask and then finally his hair care. So my first favorite cream is the Nutrient Day Cream. If you guys haven't heard of this, you've probably been living under a rock. No, I'm just kidding, but this is a very popular product. I've heard a lot of people using this. So I have the travel size, which is one ounce, and this retails for $50 for one ounce. And then the bigger size is, oh, they also have a full size as well. So they have a one ounce size, a two ounce size, as well as a four ounce size. The four ounce size is $150. That sounds crazy, but it's probably a really good deal if you use this a ton. So let me read you the description on the website about this little cutie. It says, our dual action day cream performs as a regenerating moisturizer and natural broad spectrum sunscreen. The nutrient day cream delivers a potent combination of distinct herbal actives and plant oils to repair, moisturize, and protect skin. So if you didn't already know this about zinc oxide sunscreens or sunscreens in general, is that they could put out, someone could put out a sunscreen that says it's SPF 30, but it could probably not even be anywhere near SPF 30. But Josh Rosebrook's nutrient day cream is tested by the FB, FDA and it has been thoroughly screened and tested and approved as high SPF 30 and broad spectrum by the FDA. So that's awesome because if you're investing this much money in a sunscreen, it's really good to know that it's actually what it says it is. It gives you a good amount of protection, like it said, high SPF 30. Usually anything above SPF 30 offers a tad bit more protection, but usually like not as drastic amount as like say an SPF 30 compared to like an SPF 15. So if you guys want to read the full ingredients list on these products, I would definitely visit his website just because there's so many ingredients in all of his products. They're truly amazing formulas. He also offers a tinted version of this sunscreen if you do have darker skin or even like fair skin like me. That could work for you if you want to use it as a tinted moisturizer. I just got the untinted version. I'll swatch it on my hand for you guys. So this is what it looks like on my hand. I'll zoom in and then blend it out for you. So if you've never tried a zinc sunscreen and you're scared of it looking white, honestly don't worry about it because this formula is like so modern, it's so amazing that it does not leave any white cast, at least that I notice on me. If you do have darker skin, I would probably recommend the tinted version, but this blends in. It does not leave any sort of white cast. It works perfectly under makeup, which is why I love it. 
you know how important it is to have a sunscreen in your routine this one is totally worth the investment and one of my favorite products from Josh as well actually before we go any further I just want to mention how gorgeous the packaging is I love the white simple bottles the glass jars are gorgeous I'll get into them in a minute but yeah the packaging is totally amazing high quality all the jars are glass the hydrating accelerator does come in a plastic bottle but I don't mind that honestly because it works so well and it's actually super lightweight for travel especially the two ounce size and then his hair care you can see right behind me comes in black plastic bottles with the white like packaging so besides the nutria day cream if you want something a little heavier or something to use at night the vital balm cream is absolutely amazing got i can't show you this product because i'm completely out of it and have yet to repurchase it it's totally on my list to get next though but this is basically like a really moisturizing hydrating cream it's like if you want the benefits of a balm, I love balm products, especially for winter, but sometimes they could be a little heavy. This is a bit lighter, also has blue tansy in it, which makes it this gorgeous light blue color, and like all his products, smells absolutely incredible. So I have the traveler size of this as well, which is 0.75 fluid ounces, which retails for $45, and then the full size, which is 1.5 ounces, retails for $85, which... Again, all of these products seem pricey, but trust me when I say it is the best investment for your skin. If you want a really good skin regimen, I would totally recommend Josh Rosebrook. I love his products. I've been using them for a long time, so I can really attest to how they made my skin feel. No other products I've ever tried have really given me have really given me this good of results as Josh Rosebrook skincare has. And this little product I love using in the winter. A little trick is that you can actually mix the hydrating accelerator in with this if you want it even lighter and use it during during daytime it's so beautiful such a gorgeous product i'll read you what the description says vital balm cream is a uniquely effective powerful moisturizer that combines the barrier benefits of a natural balm with the absorption and luxury finish of a cream if you just stop right there like that's my dream product this multi-benefit moisturizer supports true skin health and beauty by facilitating maximum cellular hydration repair and restoring vital skin function doesn't that sound so good? Like, how could you not want this on your skin? <laughs> yeah, I would definitely recommend Vital Balm Cream for any skin type. It works great, and I have normal to oily skin, but in the winter, it also get a little bit dry, and I find this works year-round. Doesn't clog my pores, doesn't give me irritation. If you have sensitive skin, I would especially recommend any products from Josh Rosebrook's line because they're so amazing for sensitive skin. They're so soothing, so hydrating, and they have that gorgeous, like, blue tansy scent. Now into my mask, one of Josh's cult products, is his advanced hydration mask this mask is so incredible i know it sounds like i'm just like saying so many good things about every single product but this line i'm amazed by there isn't one product i've tried from his line that i don't like this one is especially amazing it's that same rich blue color this one is actually empty this is the full size the 1.5 fluid ounce so the full size of this mask is 65 dollars which is this size right here and then the smaller size, which is 0.75 fluid ounces, is $38, which is this bad boy right here. I just repurchased it because I honestly cannot live without this. It smells so good. I'll zoom in so you can see the texture of this. So on their website, it says that Advanced Hydration Mask is an innovative treatment designed to help replenish and retain maximum skin cell hydration. This unique treatment can be used daily to elevate skin's appearance, vitality, and function. Aloe vera, whole organic actives, and rich plant oils are the potent nutrient synergy to support true skin regeneration. It also has Indian Senna Seeds, which is also known as Botanical Hyaluronic Acid, which offers high polysaccharides, which are responsible for the skin cells natural ability to hydrate and hold moisture while also critical for skin repair. So to use this mask you could of course wash your face and then do a light layer of this onto the skin. When you put this on it does look like a balm in the jar but it totally just sinks in and it just leaves sort of like an oil mask on you like it doesn't that sounds weird but it's it doesn't run or anything like that it's just a thick really moisturizing mask leave this on for as long as you want honestly I love to wear this in the shower because the hot steam can really dry out your skin but put that on in the shower and then you wipe it off with a dry cloth and your skin will be honestly the best you've ever seen it so Josh actually recommends that you don't use water to wash off this mask 
put it on and then I use a dry cloth. He also sells washcloths on his website that are like super soft, amazing, totally recommend those too. So you take the washcloth and then just wipe off the mask. So the point of that is that you can lose a lot of your skin's moisture when you're rinsing with water. So that's why he recommends using a cloth and I've tried it that way and totally prefer it. I love using this in the shower. I've also used this at night as a night treatment. It's honestly an all-around good product. Another awesome use for this is a spot treatment. It can feel a little heavy on your skin, which you're probably like, how would that work as a spot treatment? It probably clogs pores. It does not. It works great for me. Honestly, I can't speak for everybody, but I put this on my blemishes and it has blue tansy and all those other great herbal ingredients, which have a ton of anti-inflammatory properties. So when I put this on a blemish, I find that overnight it looks so much better, keeps me from picking it, and it honestly heals it so quickly. I totally recommend this mask. Along with the hydrating accelerator, you can also mix that in. Again, make it like a light balm and wear it at night. I've done that as well, but overall, love this mask I honestly can't say enough good things about this if you guys want to try it out try out the smaller size at first it is $38 so it doesn't break the bank too much totally a life changer in my opinion and I think everybody needs this mask in their collection so the next mask I want to talk about is his cacao antioxidant mask this is a dark brown mask I'll try to show you I'm almost out of mine though that's what the color looks like this is a very unique mask. I'll describe in a minute how I apply it, but let me read the description on the website first. It says, our activating facial treatment works to detoxify, rejuvenate, and purify the skin through powerful antioxidant and phytonutrient plant synergies. Rich cacao antioxidants help slow skin cell decline and assist in collagen production to increase elasticity and luminosity. So it says for all skin types, including sensitive and dry. So using this mask was kind of a learning curve for me. It's not really a dry consistency, but it's hard to spread on your face evenly. What I recommend is use the hydrating accelerator, mist that on your face, and then put a little bit on your fingers as well, or just use water, and then dip into this mask and apply on your skin. It'll apply so much better than if you were to go on to dry skin. It honestly smooths over. You will look crazy wearing this because it's like that crazy dark brown color. But again, I like to use this in the shower so I just don't make a mess all over my sink. But this is just such a gorgeous mask. At first, I found that my skin had some redness in it, but that's totally normal because what this mask is doing, it's really regenerating and just like stimulating your skin. So when you wash it off, if you do have a little bit of redness, don't be worried about it at all. Your skin will look super plump. I love this mask a lot. I use it year round. Again, probably good for any skin type. I like how it applies when you apply it correctly. And it's just, oh, the smell of this. If you've ever had those like chocolate oranges, it smells like that, but like dark chocolate. It's so amazing, honestly, like, if I wanted my house to smell like something, it would just be like Josh Rosebrook's laboratory. Like, I can't even imagine how good it smells in there because all his products are just so gorgeous. I can't even imagine this, but this is a really great stimulating mask. This would be good if you want to renew your skin, if you want that glow, if you feel like your skin is looking tired and dull, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. This is the full size 1.5 ounces for $65. Again, there's also a travel size, which is 0.75 ounces for $38. So if you are looking to try some out, go ahead and get the smaller size. See if you like it before moving up to the bigger size. Okay, last but not least, let me get into his hair care. I have two products here to show you. I'll talk about the one I purchased first. This is his Lift Hair Volumizing Spray. It says, formulated for all hair textures and conditions. Creates weightless thickening volume and texture with a matte natural finish. It says, for texture and thickening, spray on damp hair and disperse evenly using a comb or brush. For maximum volume, apply at base of hair, blow dry and style as desired. Again, super long, great ingredient list, a bunch of herbal ingredients, non-GMO, organic, essential oils, all that good stuff. This has a base of water. Also has yucca starch, brown rice extract, those sounds like they're great for volumizing. Lavender, sage, peppermint. This smells really good as well. This and the hairspray I find smell very similar. They smell like uh, lemongrass. But I love using this because on my bangs, if I don't put anything in them, they kind of dry like, you know? It's hard to describe, but like if you have bangs, you know what I'm talking about? They just get like really thin and weird looking. But when I spray this on, sometimes it'll blow dry, but even if I let it air dry, it makes my bangs look so much thicker 
Even if you don't have bangs and you're just looking for a little bit of volume in your hair, totally recommend this. I love how it comes with a little sprayer as well. Really convenient, again, smells great, works great, just like all of Josh's products. Totally effective and worth the money. So this is the full size, which is $24 for four ounces. He also has a travel size which is two ounces for $16. I love that he has all the like travel sizes for his products. So if you don't know if you like something, you can test it out. If you don't want to spend all the money. Next, let me get into my newest addition to my Josh Rosebrook collection, which is his hairspray, Firm Hold. It says, formulated for all hair textures and conditions, keeps hair in place all day without feeling sticky or flaking. And it says to hold product approximately one foot from hair and apply in a sweeping motion. For a firmer hold, allow each layer to dry fully before reapplying. This smells, like I said, just like the Lift Spray. Really like lemony, it smells amazing. Has all those great ingredients in the bottle. Mm. So this product surprised me because I honestly did not think that I could like a hairspray so much. Like it's just hairspray, like how good could it be? But this makes my hair look so shiny. I have longer hair so I curl it a lot and I need something to really hold my hair in place. And this works so great. It's not sticky, it's not super crunchy. If you guys have ever used a crunchy hairspray, you know it's honestly the worst. It makes your hair feel gross and look gross. But this one is so amazing. I find that I can even spray this, brush it through, and it still holds amazing. I like how it adds a shine and texture to my hair without looking like I put a ton of hairspray in my hair. Overall, such a great hairspray. I'm so impressed with it. This full size retails for $24 and then also a travel size 2 ounces for $16. So if you guys have hair, I would definitely recommend checking the hairspray out. So I'm not sure how these would work on thicker hair since I do have pretty normal to thinner hair. But these work really good for me. If you do have thicker hair and you've tried this out, comment below so everyone can know how it works for thicker hair types. Again, I can only speak for my hair and my skin, but these work great along with all of his skincare products. So those were all the products I wanted to show you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you tried anything from Josh Rosebrook, comment below what you think of it. I'm so curious you guys love it as much as I do. I also have a blog post that goes a little bit more in depth on my thoughts about these. I'll link it below. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that for me so you can be up to date on any videos that I put out. Also leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this video. I know I had so much fun doing it. I love Josh Rosebrook and I love talking about skincare. So thanks again. I just said thank you three times, didn't I? Well, thank you. If you're not already following me on Instagram, it's Dirt Naturals. I'll put it on the screen as well as my blog, dirtnaturals.com. I'll put all the info, all the pricing, all the details in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.